Hey there, Virgo. How are you doing? It's time for your mid-June to July reading of this current year. I have some illusions about like who you've been keeping as a gold standard in a relationship with you. Do you feel like you've become a bit more... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. Um... Do you feel like you've been played for a fool? Everybody plays the fool sometimes. No, it's that bitch stole my food. <laughs> anyway, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Sorry, lamp. I didn't mean to freak you out. Da -da -da -da. Right, right. If it doesn't resonate with you, as I said, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. All right, so Virgo, let's see what's going up with you. No whammies. All right, we got for you. I'm a sword to first. Ooh. Bad judgment call on the wants and wishes or not wanting to resurrect something. Fears and rejections could be a cancer with the chariot right there. We also have Sagittarius as well. There's a lot of Arcana for you. Just pointing that out there. Um, probably not coming together with another person or two people not coming together. Obstacle and challenge coming against you is yourself. Who knows what's going on with you. Catalyst as well as the final result is the family. Ten of Pentacles. Everything perfect in the family home of sorts. Ace of Cups is the beginning theme. Open it up for a new beginning. Trying to start something new, give an apology, get going, start a new love relationship, blah, 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 all that good shit, right? Right. Hmm. Hmm. Virgo, okay. I feel like maybe, and just hear me out here, the person, could be you since this is your card, but it doesn't have to be. The person right here was the one who did the backstabbing, and now they're kind of looking like, oh god, this person's moving forward, and that's a fear. Because two people aren't coming together because of a bad judgment call in order for everybody to get along in here. And this is just, like, almost like reconciliation to an extreme. Like, the the drama the complicated emotions the two people can't meet eye to eye and then finally they just express themselves it's almost like one of those like one of the soap operas my mom used to watch with me when i grew when i was growing up and she watched all of them all of them like i don't know i guess it's a virgo thing but that that was just what she was into she loved that shit and this is what it kind of reminds me of a little bit we got the Five of Swords right here. Like this person who did the backstabbing on the per other person in the past, they came up as a victor. Everybody was bloody because they helped do the shit too. Like all these people joined together in this victory, like, you know, it'd be something. If um, he was leading these people, but it's like, he hid behind them in order to get the victory. Right. Then we got tempers versus the situation. Two people won't come together because the Queen of Cups right here has turned her back to it. Here she is right here. But no, now she's just fucking crazy and just, just being like, Oh, I'm not paying attention to it. Who cares? Like this person right here, this water sign possibly. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um... They could have been... They could have been the person in this situation. And she's just not paying attention. She doesn't want to pay attention. She doesn't want to even acknowledge it. And that's why two people can't come together, I guess. Like, she just... Like, someone said something that offended her feelings. And then she just... She said, like, ha! Ah! 
and like walked away and just hasn't spoken to them since and it's just kind of like oh, okay whatever man okay judgment reverse could be a bad judgment call someone decided something wrongly could be a desire not to resurrect something as well um yeah this person who um is staring at their broken shield their broken heart and just looking over things they have a volcano of anger behind them and they're gonna beat this dude's ass that like it, <laughs> like this person right here is like still in their feelings about how everything went down like there's still hope but they're gonna beat that ass like damn like like their sorrow fuels their anger like one of those things right like uh, like i've always said that like love and hate are the exact same thing you know love just blinds you to the truth and anger just pisses you off with the truth till it, it, you want to bash someone's head in with a rock but someone wants to beat some ass because they're sad like they don't cry they just go and beat some ass and because of that uh, lack of judgment or yeah it's kind of like a that's how what kind of grief cut does to people you know like you are so sad that like you lash out and it looks like you're just a fury to people and people misjudge that all the time you know people who have never had a significant amount of grief just hit them the actual um true value of loss they don't understand that like Anger is also a form of despair. And because of this bad judgment call, there's, it doesn't seem to be anybody really communicating. Like, this bitch is just doing whatever it is she does. She's just like, I'm going to pour the water in the pond and on the ground. Thinking, like, you know, or like she's just spaced out. And she's just doing shit automatically. Now... <laughs> Alright, so here's your card, Virgo, right? This is what's going against you as obstacles and challenges. You trying to be, I think, a matchmaker right here. Like, two people are just not getting along with each other. You and another person. And you might be trying to, um... I feel like you're not happy that you and this other person, whoever it is, just aren't coming together. And the problem is, I think you're kind of pushing that because there's this bad judgment here where someone just isn't understanding where someone's coming from with their emotions and their feelings. And that's where the lack of communication is coming in, like, or someone isn't able to communicate it. And that's why everyone has the wrong idea about what's going on in this person's head. But it's like, you're trying to cause two people to come together in a happy union, and it's doing the exact opposite. It's almost like repelling the other Now, your fears and rejections, right? There could be a cancer involved or someone moving forward and sneaking away to calmer waters. Like, you don't want this person sneaking away. It could be a cancer, right? Because Queen of Cups is over here as well, and she's trying to turn her back to the entire situation. Which is kind of, like, bothering me a little bit, because it's just like she had... If this is her up here, it's like they had everybody else do the battling for you. And the person who instigated it, the actual person who was responsible, hid in the background the entire time. Oh dear. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Home. Calm. Everything's complete. Everybody's happy. Um. Then, like, okay, like. You could get out of the ropes and the swords and shit, but there's still a bird that's gonna lunge down to eat you here in like a few seconds. You could easily escape, but it's just to another issue, right? You might have issues with the family or whatever. Or what's going on with this picture perfect family. It's like. Either way, you're screwed. You know? It's like either way in this little group, it's screwed up. Everything's just jack. You, there, if there ain't one issue, it's another. You know. I feel like there's a slow moving offer that's going to cause the tower to come and people be confused all over by it. Capricorn Force. Virgo. Scorpio. 
This is some really like chill PlayStation music right now. <laughs> there could be a Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries, who finds no value in working with somebody else. Like, it's like they can't work together. Like, she's trying just to concentrate. She's like, um, like the song. And someone's like, hey, Jack, you want to watch me twerk? The dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, you know, just, and, and she's just sitting there like, just keep calm and listen to your music. And they're still blaring like kid, they're blaring kid rock in the background. Like, my name is Kid. You know, just ruining your zen. Two of swords, reverse, reverse. Having no idea what kind of choice to even make to begin with. Like, there are, are, like, it's like, you have no idea what to do. Like, it's one or the other. When it comes to this apology or new beginning or something like that. Well, you're just trying to keep something. I'm not sure. It's like something finally clicked in your head. Like, like, um, and it could be the Thomas Carter's with the Queen of Wands as well. It's like there's something that just clicked on in your brain that made you reevaluate the situation, I feel like. Where it was just like, wait a minute. Yeah, like, I'll, like there's love in the dark here. Like, someone's writing up to see if this woman's gonna even wake up for them, but it's like dark time, so she's a statue. It's like you don't know if it's even there. All those... Let's see. It's like you're unsure of, like... It's like you're coming up to this statue in the middle of the night to, like, see her. Like, you're sneaking out or some shit, right? Just to check, you know, like, hey, is this is this still good? Is this okay? You know? That's, that's what it kind of feels like to me. But there's definitely something here that made you change your perspective of somebody. This Queen of Cups person right here it's like there's something that like the way she has her back turned bothers you like she's repelling the other person or possibly you oh ooh. there's some nasty like this woman's coming up to reveal some shit herself could be cancer could be pisces but this is like She's got secrets and she lies, I feel like, a lot. Like, deceitful. Keeping love in the dark because she's deceitful. Like, she just doesn't look very, um, trustworthy to me for some reason. Last one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's coming together to work together. Everyone's like, like someone's trying to be zen, and the other one's putting on Mickey Minaj twerk music and just disrupting the whole yoga class. That's why things won't work out. Yeah, that's what it feels like. The love's in the dark is like this trick right here is just yeah. But yeah, so that's your reading, Virgo. Thank you for watching. If you want a personal reading, just hit my email below. I don't charge, but I take donations and tips. Like, share, and subscribe if you will. You guys have a wonderful day. I love your face. See you. Bye-bye.